This doctor almost dropped out of college as an undergraduate, but instead she went on to become the first black female neurosurgeon in the United States. My name is Joelle, the medical mythbuster, and welcome to episode eight of Woke Black History. Let's talk about Dr. Alexa Kennedy. She's truly mind boggling. Dr. Kennedy was a surgical intern at Yale New Haven Hospital in 1975, becoming the first black person and first woman to ever be enrolled in the program. But it wasn't so easy. In college, she almost dropped out as a mathematics major. She said the greatest challenge she faced as a neurosurgeon was believing that it was possible. On Dr. Kennedy's first day of residency, she was working with a patient when one of the hospital's top administrators walked by. She recalls overhearing him say, oh, you must be one of our hospital's new equal opportunity packages. A few years later, while working as a neurosurgeon at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, she was rated as the top resident. Throughout her 20 year career as a pediatric neurosurgeon, Dr. Kennedy helped thousands of patients, most of them the age of 10 or younger. She also has a patent for the anti-siphon shunt device, which takes off excess fluid from the brain. Today, she continues to be an advocate for encouraging diversity in medicine but let's hear from her ourselves i think you have to not let other people define you you have to know yourself and understand their problem versus your problem so you can't give yourself your sense of self-worth to somebody else 